Your marketing agency doesn't want you to know how easy it is to run ads. Because if you realized how easy it was to run the ads, you wouldn't need them because you could come up with your own ads. And once you have a format that works, you don't even have to get creative anymore. You just use the same format that works all the time and you stop getting creative, right? You just lean in to what you know is working. So let me share my screen and I'm going to show you a 100 year old ad format that is still working today for loan officers. If you're running Facebook ads, like mortgage Facebook ads or real estate Facebook ads, I'm going to show you the number one template that is still working for me today that comes from a guy that made it well over a hundred years ago. So let me share my screen. I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right. So I'm using my handy dandy sketch pad here. And what we're going to go over is a template called Ida. Okay. So again, this came out a long time ago. I wish I looked up who made it. It would have been smarter, but I know that he was originally a, um, he was selling medical equipment. All right. And so this was a way that he came up with in his case, he would do it over the course of four visits and, and he would do this in order to get somebody to finally buy the medical product that he was there to sell them, right? So if we look at Ida, the first A is going to be for attention, okay? So let me just, uh, I'll just grab a little text maker here and we'll just, we'll just drop that in here, right? So the first one is going to be for attention. So we got to get their attention. You want somebody to know if this what you're talking about is, is applicable to them or not. And so that's what the first A stands for. It stands for getting somebody's attention. And I'm going to show you in just a second. I'm going to, well, let's just build an ad together and I'll show you how I use this on my Facebook ads. All right. The second line is going to be to get their interest. Now, in my case, you know, the, the gentleman that built this, he was doing this over four visits. I'm doing this in one ad. So it's like line one is to get their attention. Line two is to get their interest. Line three is going to be desire, right? Because attention is different than interest. Interest is different than desire. And we want to establish all three within our potential buyer. And then the last one is going to be action, right? So this is kind of the format that we're looking at today. Attention, interest, desire, and action. So let's just look right now at how could we do something like this for a real estate ad or for a mortgage ad or something along those lines. So let's just make another box over here and let's just look at how we could do that. So if it was going to be on an ad, it would look like this, right? Um, this is the attention line. So it might look like that, right? You'll notice that when I'm making the very first line, I'm capitalizing each word. And the reason I'm doing that, and this text is going to shrink down, but the reason I'm doing that is because I wanted to kind of appear like a headline. Now, on the this first line here, and I don't know why it doesn't show up when I go to do it, but I use this website called Emojipedia.org. Emojipedia.org. And I love this site because it will allow you to take emojis and use them on an ad that you're making on your computer. Okay? So... I'll show you when it pulls up. The one that I use the most is called House with Garden. All right, that's my most used emoji. And But you could use whatever emojis you like, right? I just, you know, using the house one makes sense because we're talking about, because we're talking about real estate. Let me just try again. All right, cool. So there it is right there, House with Garden. If you click into it, you can copy the emoji and then if you're if you're writing the text somewhere, you can just drop it in and you can see like that. Now, for some reason on Sketchpad, it just doesn't show up right. So I'm just not going to put it on here, right? Um, but you can kind of get an idea. I mean, obviously, in that case, it shows up there, but it doesn't show up like on here for, for whatever reason. I don't get it. But um, I like to put an emoji at the front and at the back of this line right here. So there's one at the beginning, there's one at the end. So it kind of appears like a headline, grab somebody's attention. Now, the second line, you know, this is going to be the interest line. All right, so in the case of a property or a mortgage or whatever we're talking about, we can give them some information so they can decide if this is for them or not. Now, the last line 
uh, creates desire, right? Now, we call this the FOMO line, all right? The fear of missing out. So what's, what's a feature of the house you could talk about that's really cool that if somebody doesn't click through and see the feature, they're going to feel like they're missing out. And so they might want to give us, fill out the form in order to see the thing, right? Now, that's pretty much what the, the ad text itself is going to look like, okay? Now, if I move this up a little bit, well, maybe. All right. So then when we have our ad, Right here, there's going to be a photo, right? Oops. Oh, that's that obviously isn't working right. I don't know. For some reason, it's kind of jumping around a little bit, I guess, because I'm sharing my screen. I don't know. But what we want to do is right here, we're going to have a photo, right? And there's going to be a photo of a house or something real estate related or mortgage related, or it could be a picture of our client or whatever. It just depends on what we're running as the ad, right? And then down here, right below that, you're going to have another little section for the headline. Now on the ad, when you look at doing an action, this is where it's going to, you know, this gets them to take action, right? I'll just put it like that. So that's what we're doing right here, right? This gets them to take action. And so you're going to have a headline that's going to look something like that. And now that's sort of what the whole ad is designed, how it's designed to look, right? So you've got your attention line your interest, desire, get them to take an action. So let's just look at what could this look like if we're going to talk about doing it as a, you know, to generate, you know, a home buyer leads or something like that, right? So let's just look at an option. So first, you know, we're going to have our photo of the house, okay, which obviously looks terrible, but such is life. So up here, we're going to have our text, our primary text up here. So Let's just use a house as an example. Well, depending on what kind of house you're using, you know, you could say that it was just listed for sale, right? You could say just listed in Arlington or whatever city you're running your ads in. Now, remember, you're going to put the emoji on either side of that headline. And then the second line is going to be to give some information about the house. Well, if you're running a house as an ad, what's like the number one thing people want to know? I mean, when you're buying a house, what's the most important thing to you? A lot of times it's the bedrooms, right? That's going to be number one. It's like, will this accommodate our family? So I just tell people right up front how many bedrooms it is if I'm using a house as an ad, right? Three, so I can go like three bedroom home. And I don't want to get into too many details, but I might tell them with like two things, right? I might say like, hey, it's a three bedroom home with this and this. We could talk about whatever features you think are important. You can read the realtor description and figure out what that looks like. And then you've got the last line, right, which, which I call the fear of missing out. In this template, it's called desire. And so what can we – what do people love to see? Well, they love to see like the kitchen, the backyard, the master bathroom, um, the garage if it's, in, if it's cool, right, this kind of stuff. So we can say something like that, right? We can go check out this backyard, whatever the, whatever the feature is, right? And now they have some desire to want to do that. And then again, we're going to have our, you know, we're going to have an emoji here. We're going to have one here with a space. Make sure it's not just like that, butted up against, make a little space there. So in our case, really the, like I could just move this number three down like that. So that it basically looks something along those lines, right? And now we got one more line down here. We want to get people to take action. So down here, you think about what do people want to see, right? If, if you're talking about a house, in our case, when we're using this IDA template, right? Um, this down here is going to be action. So we're going to tell people maybe that they can view all the photos, right? And get the price as an example. It's, I mean, you think about what do people want to do? They, that's something stuff they want to do. What else do people want to do? They want to see the inside, right? And get the address, whatever. Right? That's some stuff they want to do. I mean, you just think about what do people, what are people wanting to do? If they click on the ad, what are they hoping to do, right? Um, you know, get the open house details. And directions, right? There's just some examples of what 
what we can do to get people to actually click and click through. We want them to take an action. That's what this bottom line here is designed for. So if you look at this template, pretty cool way of creating an ad, right? You've got, you've got your attention line. You've got your interest, which we're telling them a little details about the house. We've got the desire where we're going to tease a feature. And then we've got the action down here at the bottom. So look at that on how you can take that template and use it in your own business. If you need help, just in the description, I've got a link to the software that I use and you can save a hundred bucks a month and uh, it's called Complete LO. Uh, but what's great about it is all these ads are already built into the software. So we've got ads for first time home buyers, listings, open houses, different types of mortgage things um, and all that, right? I mean, the, the, the ad side is the easy part. The hard part is the follow up and how you're gonna take an ad, get a lead and then follow up with that person until they convert, right? The follow up, that's the hard part. And so that's one thing I love about using the software that I'm using today is that it just is all built into one platform. So I can log in there. I can run an ad using the IDA template. I can, and, and the ads are already written. You don't have to come up with the ad. Um, the automation, I can connect it to automation inside there. So the leads are being followed up with for an entire year. So it's been super helpful. Again, if you need, if you need that, check out the link in my bio or in my, uh, you know, down in the description. And, um, and yeah, um, be happy to help you out with that. I'm inside of their Facebook group and can help you get everything set up and, and uh, you know, running and getting your leads coming in pretty quick. So hopefully the IDA template works for you, whether you use complete LO or your own thing. And uh, let me know in the comments if you decide to launch an ad with this kind of template and you get some awesome results, come back and share it with us. All right, make sure you like and subscribe and you can get notifications with that bell whenever I launch new video. And uh, we'll see you back here next time. Later.